TurboCore, the world's first magnetic bearing, oil-free centrifugal compressor for air conditioning applications. From Danfoss, engineering tomorrow. Safety precautions must be observed during the installation, startup, and service of the compressor due to the presence of pressure and voltage hazards. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, start up, and service Danfoss TurboCore compressors. This step-by-step -step service tutorial will guide you through the verification of the magnetic bearings and bearing sensors. The radial and axial magnetic bearings provide the necessary forces to hold the compressor shaft on a cushion of magnetism, providing friction-free operation and eliminating the need for lubrication of mechanical components. The bearing sensors read the shaft position and feedback to the bearing controller to determine adjustments to the magnetic bearings. When the compressor calibration is unusual or bearing faults are occurring, it is recommended to verify the magnetic bearings and bearing sensors. Remove the service side cover. To verify the magnetic bearings, power to the compressor must be off. Wait for the LEDs on the back plane to turn off before testing the magnetic bearings. Disconnect the PWM Molex connectors from the bearing power feed-throughs. For earlier versions, disconnect the PWM cluster blocks from the feed-throughs. ESD precautions must be taken to prevent possible damage to static-sensitive components. Using a multimeter set for resistance measurement, check each bearing coil by putting the leads of each pair of pins on the feed-throughs corresponding to the bearing coil. The coils should not show shorted or open. The bearing coil resistance can vary depending on the compressor model. Refer to the service manual or the TurboTool app for pin identification. Then check each bearing coil's resistance to ground and between coils. Resistance should be open. Using a mega ohm meter, Megger, test the insulation of each coil to ground and between coils at 1 kilovolt. Insulation should be greater than 100 mega ohms. If the values are not as expected, the bearing should be verified internally determine if the issue is with the feed-through or bearing coil. Follow standard refrigerant recovery procedures prior to removing the feed-throughs. If the issue with the bearing system is not identified, the magnetic bearings may not be the source of the problem. The bearing sensors can also be verified. Remove the motor cooling actuators from the solenoids. Disconnect the bearing sensor cables from the feed-throughs. With a multimeter set for resistance measurement, check each sensor coil by putting the leads on each pair of pins on the feed-throughs. Resistance of the sensor coils should be 2.5 to 3 ohms, except for the two coils on the rear sensor. Refer to the service manual or the TurboTool app for pin identification. If the values are not as expected, the bearing sensor should be verified internally to determine if the issue is the feed-through or sensor. Follow standard refrigerant recovery procedures prior to removing the feed-throughs. If the issue with the bearing system is not identified, the bearing sensors may not be the source of the problem. This completes the service presentation for verification of the magnetic bearings and bearing sensors. For more information on Danfoss TurboCore products and service documentation, please visit us online at turbocore.com.